uh, hi, hello, uh, no, please, D don't, don't be alarmed, uh, he hello, mm. uh, it is, it is very good to see another person around here, uh, I, um, I don't get much company, so please don't run away. It's very good to meet you. My name is Blue. Yes, I'm just sitting here by my gravestone. It's a very nice night, isn't it? Uh, may I ask why you are out here? Are you paying respects? Oh, I see. You're on patrol for undead. Mm. So I suppose Frederick is gone. He was the previous patrol officer before... Well, before you. He must have retired. He didn't like me much. Said I should have stayed in my coffin. Mm. I I'm very sorry if you feel the same way. I just get... Awfully cramped in there, and I, I don't like it much. I like looking out at the moon and the wildlife. That's my personal opinion, anyway. I know that I've been around far too long for anyone to listen to me, but... <laughs> well, thank you very much. I do like to say stay presentable. They say that the best suit you'll ever wear is the one you're buried in. My funeral suit. My family didn't have much money, but you know, after I died, they did all the requisite things, such as dress me in finery and take photos with me. Oh yes, they propped me up and positioned me as if I was sleeping or still awake. It, it was rather beautiful. Oh... I was uh, killed by tuberculosis. <laughs> yes. Uh, around uh, 1851, perhaps, 1831, 1881. It had one in it, and it was in the 18s. Um, I lived in a small flat with my family. Hmm. They, um, apparently didn't live much longer than I did. But they didn't come back. So now they're somewhere else and I'm still here. Which is fine. You know, you've got to make the best of a bad situation. And it is good to keep one's chin up. And stay presentable and smiling. Although ever since I lost a part of my cheek, my smile has become rather more ghoulish. Which is ironic, as I may be sometimes viewed as a ghoul. Yes. Mm. In any case, put it there. You can shake the hand, it's not gonna... Oh dear, it fell off. Ah. One moment. I have a needle and thread on my purse. Ah. I'll just... Reattach that. Oh, it's rather simple. With necromantic remains, when the person's body parts are stuck together, they instantly start working again. So just a bit of twine and... There. Good as new. You'd hardly notice. You don't want to shake my hand anymore? That's understandable. I am falling to bits after... Oh, oh I think I put my back out. Ah. Goodness golly. One moment, please. spine's not as, um, flexible as it used to be. It really did help when I had spinal fluid and blood pumping around the body. Mm. But, you know, you win some, you lose some, and I tend to believe that as long as you stick with it, things will always improve. <laughs> yes, you've got to have a positive outlook, otherwise you'll burst into tears. And at least my eyes are working, and that, that is a blessing. I tell you, so many zombies I've found, they've had to find replacement eyes. Yes, all three of them. Hmm. 
they usually turn a red color when they're under the control of some dark necromancer. But mine stayed green because my necromancer, well, they were um, a ten-year-old girl by the name of Susie, and it was her first ever spell. She was with her mother in the graveyard, and she basically brought me to life as a bit of a test of her talents. She's a lovely little girl. I see, I see her on weekends and Christmas sometimes. She's about um, 25, I believe, now. Mm -hmm. Yes. But, um, I, unfortunately, it would be very, you know, I'd say, ill-fitting for me to stay with her. I, I am undead, after all, and I'm far too old to be staying in houses and such. I'm sure I'd just make messes everywhere. My hands falling off, my <laughs> eyes might fall out. Although, she did do me the service of embalming me, so when I was brought back, my skin won't rot and nothing bad will come of me. <laughs> so I'm doing okay in that department as well. Yes. Yes, all up, I'm doing quite well. Mm. You know... Minus a bit of skin in certain areas, like the face or one of the arms a bit. But that's minor. Hmm. And then there are the monster hunters who occasionally come by and try to shoot me before they realize that you can't kill me, so they just go on their way. So I have a couple of arrow wounds somewhere around here. I can't quite recall where. I am so lucky that they didn't make the suit unwearable. <laughs> Plus, the pretty colour does attract a lot of butterflies and such. Same as my skin, as a matter of fact. Turned quite a lovely shade. Mm. It, it does quite so fit in with the graveyard. It makes everything look fitting. Like this is where I belong. I'd like to think so, anyway. I'd like to think there's a place where we all belong. And even if I'm not with my friends and family, there's got to be a good reason for that. Maybe it's to help someone else out in this life. Who knows? I remember when I was young, I um, used to play with my sisters in the streets, there was an old man, I can't remember his name, but one day a horse and carriage was barreling towards us. I believe the horse had been spooked by some spectre or something. I've never been a fan of ghosts. All about the theatrics and stuff. <laughs> Zombies. Much more down to earth. Except for the ones that lose their minds and start eating people. That's why you get embalmed. <laughs> so that doesn't happen. But, in any case, this horse was barreling down the street, and he jumped in front of it and pushed my sister out the way, and the, 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 the horse did hit him and, and, and killed him. Mm. But, and I, I wondered for a very long time why he did that. It seemed foolish to me that he would jump in front of, in front of something he knew would kill him. But I understood when he told me later on. You see, he became a, um... Now, what was it again? A, a skeleton? An enchanted skeleton of some kind? In any case, he became that, one of those. And he told me, he said to me, that he was already very old, and that the child had a whole life ahead of her. And it really made me think that perhaps he had lived that long to do that deed. It's nice to think about things having a purpose, because otherwise, <laughs> what are we going to do? Make our own purpose, I suppose. Oh dear, I've been talking so much, my legs fell asleep, and I'm sure you're falling asleep as well. Oh dear. Oh dear, my leg came detached while I was talking. That's frightfully embarrassing. I'm going to have to stitch that back on. I am so sorry about this. Dear, my hands are shaking. I don't suppose you could do me a huge favor and sew my leg. It would mean the world to me. Thank you ever so much. 
I really do appreciate this. You're awfully kind. Uh, uh, good as new. <laughs> mm. It's hard to find a good people, especially in a cemetery. Mainly grave diggers and necromancers and that kind of malarkey. And obviously patrol officers, but you're an alright lot. Never meaning to offend, of course. You seem well enough to me. <laughs> oh, I'm frightfully sorry. I, I, I did not mean to offend. Oh, gosh, I, I've, done, I've messed up again. I've made a frightful ass of myself. I'm sorry, I, I, I know my pleasantries and such are rather outdated, and I, I don't tend to fit in with this modern world. Stay in the graveyard, that's, that's why I should stay in the graveyard. I just, I don't belong anywhere else. It's not really my place to be. Yes. Well, thank you very much. I must say it is very nice to talk to someone. Very nice indeed. I really do appreciate this. You know how. When you get old enough, the stories that you have to tell no one wants to listen to. You know, ball in a cup type things. Once revolutionary, now boring. People have magic and spell books and all that. That's what people want. And I, I hear that monsters and stuff, they're getting more equal rights. That's a frightful shock, I must tell you. I've always been all for rights for all, but I, I did not expect humanity to catch on to such a idea. I even saw, and I'll tell you this, I even saw a harpy. Yes, running about town, just outside of my graveyard. She looked frightfully lost, but I'm sure she'll be okay. People are already coming up to help her, and they seem to know her, so she looked okay. Oh, and I saw, and I saw, uh, well, it was very hard. It was a horse person, so a person with a horse up a half. You say, isn't that frightfully odd? Yes. They were an interesting person. Running about town with a companion and they all, they seem very flustered. Yes. <laughs> well. Oh, and there was a, a, a little a little fellow with pointed ears and red skin. Uh, I can't remember their name, but they came through the graveyard, as a matter of fact. And they came up to me and talked to me for hours about spoons and toes. Uh, it was odd, but I enjoyed the company. I, I hope to see them again soon. Mm. But this is also, also frightfully interesting, learning about the outside world. No, I can, I can never go into the city. <laughs> the very idea. I, I wouldn't fit in. I'm just too outdated. I fall apart every other minute, and I'm no fun to talk to. I'm boring and uninteresting. I mean, per perhaps if, if certain circumstances. Maybe I could... Well, it's a dream that may one day come true. Who knows? But for now, the, gra the graveyard is good enough for me. I, I don't wish to stray too far and annoy people. That would be... That would be bad. And last I heard, there was some odd goings on afoot. Hmm. Well, adventurers and such... They, they tend to stab first, ask questions, never. So who knows? I know that monsters are accepted, but undead are a whole other business. Most of them are shambling mounds of groaning and moaning flesh. It's ugh, frightful. Only a few are accepted. I believe skeletons are seen as okay, but that might be it. Ghosts, of course, but we've already talked about those to no end. 
I have never met a ghost that I have enjoyed the company of, and I tell you why. Because all they try and do is frighten you, or wail about their past and how they've forgotten something. It's tragic, of course, but you must look to the future. You think I cry every night about the lost family I had? Not every night, of course. I take breaks, I do things, I have conversations. <laughs> so, so, um, I've been rifling on for far too long. I've taken up your valuable time. There's probably about a hundred bodies that have leapt out of their graves in a running amok. Well, I've been talking. You should probably get back on your patrol. I I'm so frightfully sorry. I didn't mean to do anything to distract. <laughs> Thank you. It, it was very nice to talk to you, too. That does mean a lot to me. Mm. And the name is Blue, yes. Like the color of my skin. I I'm not sure if it was always my name, but it's the name that I have now. <laughs> it was frightfully good to talk to you. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> what a charming person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Deleted.